Hi, my name is Savalo Jovtenko and welcome to my art channel. And today I want to talk about my experience with uh, Wacom Intuos Pro uh, medium size. And how does it compare to drawing on the screen like Wacom's Cintiq and Huion uh, canvas, which I reviewed previously. So as you can see, I am not recording in my apartment and I am doing it outside to remove reverberations, so sorry for the bursting <laughs> and noise of the traffic nearby. And the reason uh, for this is that I had to leave uh, my location uh, in Kiev, Ukraine, uh, due to the Russian invasion. Uh, it was very dramatic, and uh, but thank God I am in a safe place. And if you in any way can support uh, our efforts to free our country from uh, these uh, murderous people, you can um, find a lot of charities and army support <coughs> foundations. But please uh, omit donation to Red Cross because they are not uh, doing anything effective in Ukraine and even supporting uh, Russian invasion uh, in the way of uh, moving uh, our citizens uh, in the occupied uh, territories uh, from uh, uh, Ukrainian occupied territories uh, to the uh, main uh, Russia country. So let's go uh, to the uh, review. I spent, um, I don't know, around 30 hours uh, using it. And here is uh, the wear of the tip. I don't know, will it focus or not? But uh, if uh, to compare with the new ones, which are <coughs> which come included in this uh, handy stand, I think uh, roughly the half of the tip uh, has already worn out. They are really, really fastly wearing out compared to the Huyons, Huyons uh, pen. This is very noticeable. Uh, the pen hold holder is uh, very hefty because it has solid aluminum block inside. But the pen is very loose here. So you see, it is not very firm. Uh, it is good, I think, because if it was a much firmer hold, uh, it would be potential danger for breaking the pen. So it is easy to put in and to take out. You can also store it like this. But you see. Um, but moving this holder with the pen inside is um, it should be made very cautiously because it can easily fall. But uh, the pen has fallen several several times uh, to the floor already, and uh, nothing bad happened to it. It's very uh, sturdy. It's very um, well made. And uh, comparing uh, to the Huion's pen, it definitely feels more premium, <laughs> I should say. Uh, but uh, in terms of user experience, uh, I don't see any um, any differences beyond uh, the tip being uh, very fast uh, to wear out. The surface of uh, the tablet is already a bit scratched. I don't know if it is uh, visible to the camera. But um, these scratches uh, do not impede drawing experience uh, because <clears throat> I don't feel them when using the pen so it doesn't uh, get stuck inside the scratches and the surface is uh, replaceable so in time when it is uh, maybe damaged enough uh, to have uh, bigger scratches I will replace it uh, but I think they made the uh, tips to wear out uh, fast uh, made them soft so the surface is uh, not as much damaged uh, by them. Also, uh, what is uh, good things about the tablet? It is uh, Bluetooth uh, connectable to the uh, computer, so in my case uh, to the MacBook, so it is uh, very convenient to place it in any position uh, without um, without getting stressed that the cable will bend, the ports will wear out, change the angle, find the most comfortable position, it could be close to the computer, it could be far away, so you don't need to worry about it. Also, no need for the power supply, it has a built-in battery which lasts um, 
quite long. I have charged it only once or twice in that time. So that is very uh, good, very convenient. And it is quite portable. So it is um, around the size of the 15 inch uh, notebook, but slightly narrower. So it will fit uh, almost any um, backpack. <laughs> the bird is in. Um, it has uh, the touch sensitivity, and which is super convenient. It is uh, turned on and off by the physical knob. Uh, I don't use uh, gestures with this tablet because I have uh, the notebook with touchpad nearby. So it is more convenient to use it there. Uh, for me, and also I don't have uh, this <laughs> professional drawing glove. Because, uh, first of all, this surface doesn't require it, uh, because uh, it is not as sleek as uh, the screen, so my hand doesn't get stuck and it is not sticking to the surface, and on the other hand it is not getting slippery due to the hand grease, which is not accumulating here, by the way. I have only some fingerprints. Touch sensitivity is turned off, um, because uh, when you are not wearing the glove, <laughs> Uh, the touch um, sensitivity for the hand gestures uh, will um, re register some of your movements and can interfere with your drawing experience. What are more things to say? About the interface of the tablet, uh, these uh, buttons and uh, the touch ring. Um, so, for my experience when using this uh, tablet with the notebook uh, near side me, the buttons are mostly useless because all the keyboard shortcuts uh, are near the right hand and your right hand is obviously occupied with the pen. Uh, by the way, it is ambidextrous so you can just uh, switch it to the another side and use it left-handed. Very convenient for the people uh, who prefer to use it that way. Uh, but the touch ring is very good. Uh, it has uh, four functions can be programmed here. You switch with them with the press of the button and they just uh, move your finger around. It is uh, touch sensitive to um, it is not physically rotating and uh, the most useful things are like zooming in and out, rotating the canvas and um, uh, changing the brush size. So these are three or four. The fourth one I don't remember which is there. I don't use it that much. Um, uh, but but um, if you are not having the keyboard conveniently close by, uh, you could also program some shortcuts here <clears throat> like uh, the ink dropper, uh, the canvas flip, I don't know what else. I think uh, th those are most uh, commonly used. Uh, regarding uh, the eraser tool, you can use uh, this um, pen upside down and this thing for the eraser. And as the uh, work with the eraser doesn't require that much precision, uh, it is quite uh, convenient and enough and I think and I think maybe those scratches are from this back thing because it is made of hard plastic and it does doesn't have any signs over so maybe those scratches are uh, from uh, the eraser side maybe can be considered as the way to save uh, some of the resources of your tips uh, it also comes um, let me show again. It also comes with the uh, felt tips inside. The white ones. Uh, they should um, resemble the experience of drawing with the felt uh, pens. <laughs> uh, but I haven't tried them. Uh, I think when I will uh, run out of the regular tips Mm, I will give it a try. So, uh, so regarding the drawing uh, itself with this tablet, I never used it uh, tethered uh, to the computer with the cable, only Bluetooth. Had zero issues uh, during this time, uh, but um, I think on the Photoshop side uh, there were sometimes lags and I had to reboot it, uh, but it was purely the Photoshop problem. Now I think it is time to compare uh, experience of using it. Sorry for shaking camera. Experience of using it uh, with a screen uh, tablet like uh, Cintiq or uh, uh, Huion uh, Canvas or iPad because it is also a drawing screen. So I had uh, Cintiq uh, like, I don't know, for 
several years, sometime in the past. 13 inch uh, Cintiq, but it was too small a screen for me and uh, it was not very convenient, how to say it? Uh, it had a big, um, at the time, a big um, obstacle to start drawing, so you had to start on the computer, it would boot for some time, then you launch the Photoshop, so um, iPad was very much more convenient for drawing in the Procreate, because you just open the app and, and go to drawing. But after several years, years of drawing in Procreate, I saw that my progress was uh, very slow. It is by no means any limiting app, but it is far more understandable for me how to do complex things uh, in drawing using the Photoshop. So I decided to get back, in, back into the Photoshop. And as I remembered, after using some type of these uh, drawing tablets like Bamboo a lot of years ago, it was a big problem for me with the hand and eye coordination. So I decided to uh, take a plunge and go with a big uh, screen uh, drawing monitor, uh, like a Canvas uh, 24, uh, which you can see my review and boxing and something. But due to the war I had to leave uh, my apartment and couldn't take it with me. So on the new place I decided I would like to have uh, not a screen, uh, but to try with a con conventional drawing tablet. And I was thinking about getting Beckham uh, or Huion. Huion is much cheaper. The pros were that uh, it is cheaper and it shouldn't have uh, any drivers uh, conflict because I have Huion drivers installed for my Canvas 24 on my MacBook. And a lot of people are saying that uh, Beckham drivers uh, can conflict a lot with the other drawing app drivers. The biggest thing which I decided uh, was against buying the uh, Huion uh, conven conventional drawing tablet that at the moment none of them were equipped with their newest uh, stylus uh, which resembles uh, the Wacom's. If I remember correctly it is PW517 model number and it is the one which comes with the screen uh, the canvas uh, 24. So con conventional drawing tablets only have older version of pen PW500 501 or something. A lot of people said that uh, it has a very springy, springy uh, pen tip, so it retracts a lot. And when you um, when you take your uh, pen uh, from the surface, it uh, like lifts it, and it is not very um, convenient to draw because it has a lot of movement. So I think like. Whatever. If you were going to have a con conventional drawing tablet, better to take uh, the Wacom's. Uh, it is uh, the best, the most professional, and like buy one, and you have it for the rest of your life because this technology has been perfected for s several years already. And I know a lot of professional artists are using like version 4 models which are more than 10 years old so this is uh, there is nothing to upgrade here uh, nothing to change for the better it has all the bells and whistles usb type c port which will be uh, for the next 10 years i think uh, it has bluetooth communication it has good battery so uh, it was a no brainer although it costed like uh, uh, with all the discounts and the sales, I bought it for 300 euros uh, or something like that. So uh, the comparison, uh, the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, f like fear of me was that um, the hand-eye coordination when you are looking at the monitor and you not doesn't see the movement of your hand would be uh, the big issue. And it was a big issue for me when I was starting out the digital drawing and had uh, the bamboo little one tablet. Um, and then I switched to the Cintiq 13 and I had like biggest leap in the quality of my drawing. Uh, and I was very afraid of that I'm going to uh, see a great downgrade in quality. But that is not the problem. <laughs> uh, I had uh, zero issues of adapting, uh, getting familiar like 15 to 30 minutes and I'm drawing on the screen without uh, looking here and having uh, no problem with uh, high uh, with eye and hand uh, coordination so that is uh, not a problem and it uh, doesn't hinder in any way the drawing experience uh, compared to the uh, screen when using a smaller 
uh, monitor because uh, my MacBook is 14 inch screen and this is uh, like I don't know uh, in diagonal about in the two thirds or maybe three fourths of its size so my uh, hand uh, movement is not dramatically different from the uh, distance uh, of the cursor uh, moving on the screen so, uh, it doesn't take a lot of adaptation for uh, for the brain um, if I would use it with a large monitor I think it would be I think it would be difficult but I have no way to test it here and but there is a big drawback which makes it um, next to unusable in uh, certain cases uh, the case is when you are drawing um, when I'm using it for a painting uh, without uh, line art so when you're doing line art uh, you are drawing like a very contrasty situation you have black paint against the bright surface and you see uh, your cursor brush tip on the screen very good uh, but when you are make, but when I'm making uh, some art uh, in more like sketchy form without line art, uh, it is uh, not uh, very contrasty to the very end when you are putting the last highlights and the deepest shadows. So all the uh, values are gathered in the mid range, and it is um, not very contrasty and. Um, the Photoshop's uh, brush tip cursor, uh, the ring, the uh, the cross here inside it is of uh, middle gray, and it is totally invisible uh, on the painting when their values are not of for the darks or the lights. So when there is uh, mid tones, uh, mid tone values, I don't know, like from 30 of brightness to 70 of brightness. <laughs> Or maybe in wider so uh, the photoshop's um, brush tip on the screen it is totally invisible it blends uh, with your drawing and you cannot change uh, the color of it in the interface the, to turn it into some magenta or red to be it uh, the punchy color to be it visible against uh, your drawing so it makes very very difficult uh, to draw in the, that's that style but if you are uh, using more methodological approach when you are doing the line art first, then uh, which requires the precision, and you have your black against the white, and the, the cursor is uh, very good to see, and you can do it precisely. Uh, then when you do the shading, you do not need that much precision. It is not as bad. So I got inside to illustrate the issue of uh, the cursor visibility. Mind that this is a MacBook screen, the latest 14 inch MacBook Pro, so it is one of the best screens on the market. This issue could be much worse um, on the less expensive screens. So, uh, this is quite a dark picture, so uh, the cursor is uh, good visible. But if you switch to something like this, um, it was entirely painted on this Intuos Pro. So, on the sky, it is very hard to see. So it, it is uh, very hard to see uh, the cursor. And when you are doing some detail work and you are like uh, zoomed in, and the picture takes uh, the big portion of your screen and your brush size is quite small, so it becomes uh, quite uh, difficult to see. Another artwork: um, the sky is in the range where the brush is uh, cursor is totally invisible it, it is possible to see it like here in some places and it mostly visible only on the ground where it is uh, dark here as um, the way to combat the issue of this uh, limitation uh, I had to make a darker scene uh, without uh, any bright spots like sky where it is very difficult uh, to make it work to all of you who are thinking about buying this instead of the screen uh, tablet, do not fear the hand-eye coordination, it is not as bad as an issue and I think you can adopt 
very fast. But it is slightly more difficult to draw very precise lines. Even drawing circles is more difficult than drawing some curves. So if you are into very tight drawing style with very precise lines, I think you should look more to the screen monitor tablets. But if you are in more rough style, this is completely good. I don't know how to conclude this thing. <laughs> I think uh, you have any questions uh, for the person who has experience with uh, using conventional tablet and uh, drawing monitor, you can leave them uh, down in the comments. Sorry for shaking camera. And I will see if, if there is enough gathered to, to make another video. I will make another video with uh, giving the answers uh, to those questions. And I hope grain prevails and we will be able to return uh, to our homes and rebuild our, rebuild our country. Thank you very much uh, for watching, have a safe day, bye bye.